Let's make an invisibility cloak with Unity Shader Graph. Okay, so a couple videos ago, we made an OpenCV plugin for Unity. We used um, all the static libraries from OpenCV so that we could run C++ OpenCV code inside Unity. Now, the demo project I did for that was an invisibility cloak. I thought the project was actually pretty cool, but it was such a pain in the ass to work with because you had so many different plugins that I never really used it for anything. So continuing on our same path with the shader graph, I thought it would be really cool if we did an invisibility cloak with just Unity shader graph. So you're gonna need a green screen cloak if you wanna follow along, and then we're gonna use the uh, universal render pipeline and add a render feature to do a full screen camera effect that uses the color mask node to mask out this green color here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through everything step by step here because this is a lot of stuff that we've done in other videos, but basically this is just a project that renders the camera view uh, to a plane in front of the camera and then it's using the uh, universal render pipeline so that we have access to unity shader graph now here to get the camera view I'll go into more detail about this later but here I'm using unity's webcam texture but just know that this could be done with like um, AR foundation or Vuforia or easy AR or any other AR SDK that renders the camera view so now the crux of this effect is in this basic shader graph so if we open this up um, this is where all the magic is happening. So it, you can see here we have a uh, texture 2D called screenshot exposed here. So whenever you click on the screen or you um, press a button, we pass in the current camera frame and that goes in here to this uh, screenshot. Now you'll see this just gets passed to uh, the color here of the shader, but we need to actually mask this out so that when you hold up the green screen in front of the camera, you can only view the part of this texture that is being seen through the green screen. So to do that, pass in the scene color node, which just gets the, uh, whatever the camera's currently rendering, passes it here into this color mask, which keys out this green color, and then it does so in a particular range, which you can change here, but I found 0.81 to be like the ideal range for me. But then it passes that through the color mask, and that, yeah, then that goes through to the alpha channel, and that's literally all there is to this effect. So now that shader that we just talked about is on this cloak material here. Now we want this to be a full screen camera effect. So if we go to the um, forward render pipeline asset, you'll see that you can add a render feature here. So all I did was added a render feature, um, set the layer mask to everything, and I put that cloak material in here. And now that will apply this material to the entire camera view. Now, if we go to this cloak object, if we double click this uh, screenshot script, you can see this is what is actually taking the screenshot. Now, I guess before we talk about this, I have two buttons here uh, that are hidden. So on this canvas, if we go to these buttons and we bring up the alpha, you'll see that there's a button on the top and the bottom of the screen. The top button we'll talk about in a second, but the bottom button is what actually does the, take that actually takes the screenshot. So if you go into this screenshot script, now there's a bunch of different ways to take a screenshot. Um, you could use application.capture screenshot, or I think they, Unity has a new API for doing screenshots and stuff. Um, but in this case, uh, what I did was took the main camera, um, rendered it to a render texture, and then read the pex pixels of that render texture into another texture 2D called screenshot here. And then we send this screenshot texture into our cloak material. I did it this way because I think it would, if you were gonna do this in maybe say a production setting, you'd probably wanna have two cameras, one camera for UI and then one camera to do, do this effect. And if you do it with this render texture way, um, then you can actually pass in the screenshot ignoring all of the UI elements that are rendering on your UI camera. Now, the last part of this project is the way I'm getting the camera. So like I was saying before, this project could just as easily be done with Vuforia or AR Foundation or anything else. But with this particular effect, I wanted to be able to use the front camera and since ARKit and ARCore came out, um, all of the AR SDKs seem to have implemented ARKit and ARCore behind the scenes in addition to their custom APIs. So like EasyAR and Vuforia at least, I know they both used to support the front camera, but since they've integrated um, ARKit and ARCore, they have deprecated their front camera support. So it's really difficult to make an AR app that gets the front camera as of right now. So what I did was just use the um, Unity's webcam texture on this camera plane and that's the script that you're gonna see here. 
but this does have some limitations. If you were gonna do this in a production setting again, don't definitely don't use this camera view code here. You'd probably wanna like use NAT device or some other asset on the Unity Asset Store that gets the front camera in a better manner because as you'll see here with the script, um, there's a lot of different translations and rotations that you have to do uh, depending on the platform. So like Android and iOS might have the front camera flipped and the you know back camera is mirrored or something like that. There's, there's all different configurations and I only tested this code on my Pixel 2 and my iPhone 8. So if you guys are testing this on something else, you may run into issues where you may have to modify this code here to get the camera view to show up properly. Um, but like I said, I wanted to be able to just put this up on GitHub and let you guys use this for free. So this was the only way that I could figure out how to do the front camera in a free manner. So yeah, basically that is it. So if you were to click play here and you wanted to say, get out of the camera view, you can press this bottom button and that will take the screenshot. And if you go in front of the camera and you hold up some piece of green screen, you can see that it's, there we go. My lighting's not great right now, so it's not working super well, but you get the idea. You do have to have really good lighting for this to work well. But yeah, so the one other thing is if you click this top button here, uh, this will switch your camera. So if you're on Android or iOS and my code is correct, then hopefully this will open your front camera. All right, so that's it. That's all I got for today. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next video. And with that, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.